This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Hi, I am Dr. Deepak Meghur. Welcome to another video where I'll be sharing few tips for soft cataract management especially in the young patients. In this video, there are situations where a novice surgeon can get stuck because the nucleus won't divide. Now, how to go about in such a situation? Uh, this is uh, the video for it. Now, she's a 48-year-old lady and uh, obviously we expect a very soft cataract. The excess is done, which is of an average size and uh, done hydrodissection. The nucleus rotation is confirmed. It is quite good. And mind you, I have not done hydrodelineation. Well, if I'd done, probably it would have helped me better. But so I didn't do it. It just escaped my attention because I usually don't do hydrodelineation. But this was one such case where probably it would have helped. Now the superficial epinucleus is removed. And as I'm removing the epinucleus, I realize that this is a soft nucleus and I'll be unable to chop. So I thought the best solution in this case would always had been to hydrodelineation and prolapse the nucleus out and eat it off using a carousel technique. But I've not done hydrodelineation, so now how would I go about in this situation? So I thought I'll just try the stop and chop technique and I just go in and do my sculpt. I'm just broadening the peripheral ends so that it could be easier for me to remove the hemi-nucleus out of the back. The nucleus is rotated, the same the trench is slightly deepened and broadened at the distal parts. So at this stage my plan is I want to divide this nucleus into just two pieces and remove each of them out of the bag and then eat it. The problem is when I attempt to divide, it divides but the nucleus is very crumbly, it is cheese wiring. When I'm trying to hold only part of the nucleus comes out. Now it is almost like I have created a bowl inside. Now how do we deal with this situation? The no need to panic here, no attempt should be made to divide the nucleus now. Remember this patient is around in the mid 40s, the nucleus would be softer. The only way to deal with this is to prolapse the entire nuclear material out of the bag and then emulsify in the central safe zone. Now how do we do that? So what do we do now is you know basically treat this as an epinucleus bowl because the nucleus is very shallow and uh, very soft. The settings which I'm going to use is a high flow rate and high vacuum which is Flow rate is 40 and vacuum is around 500. The faker power is set at 5% longitudinal. The idea is just to get a grip on the epinucleus, the anterior leaflet of the epinucleus, just hold it and then flip it out of the bag. The initial part has got just chewed off and the epinucleus is not flipped out. But what it does is it has reduced the diameter of the epinucleus because the peripheral part of this is chewed off and now the adjacent parts anterior leaflet is held with the same FACO tip and then now it can be flipped out of the bag quite easily. Once it's out of the bag, we are in the safe zone and now we can emulsify it in a jiffy. So the idea is to catch the epinucleus anterior leaflet, try to pull it out of the bag and then emulsify. We don't want to do any aspiration in the peripheral part of the bag because that's a danger zone. There's a high risk of the FACO tip touching the posterior capsule and breaking it. That's the reason we want to just engage the nucleus or the epinucleus material, pull it to the center, flip it out of the bag and then emulsify. So now the entire epinucleus and the nuclear mass is eaten off in a jiffy. Now is the time to remove the cortex. By manual A is done to remove the cortex. The lens is placed into the bag. That's it. So let us rewind and see. If I had a second chance, I would have just done a hydrodelineation, reduced the overall size of the nuclear mass and then did the carousal technique to flip the entire nucleus N mass out of the bag into the antechamber and then emulsified. But however, in this case, my judgment was not accurate initially. And when I decided to sculpt and divide, then I realized the nucleus is cheese wiring and literally there is no hold for which I can remove the nucleus. The nucleus was coming in pieces. So in such situations, we already have a bowel formation. The first thing is to try to trim off the epinucleus in some quadrants. This will reduce the diameter of the epinucleus and then hold one of the anterior leaflets of the epinucleus, flip it out of the bag and then emulsify. This should be the strategy. The next time your nucleus assessment pre-op was not accurate and you have an intraoperative uh, surprise, don't panic. Follow this strategy and you should be fine. That's it. Thank you for watching and hope you found this helpful.